So, Jack, what? tell us the story behind the song, how it started, all that. So, My Love was made on July 7th of 2019, and I don't know why I remember that. I'm really good with dates, though, and numbers. But not, like, math, but just, like, remembering dates. Like, if you told me your birthday, I'll remember it. Um, but July 7th, we go into JR's studio. He has this amazing studio in Hollywood, and uh, we ended up writing that song in, like, like two hours. It was really quick, and... Uh, I think like John Ryan, this really talented writer was there as well. But basically for me, you know, it started off and it, it, all these writers are like, so like, what do you want to make music about? And for me, like, I'm always, I'm very emotional, you know, and I don't, when I live in LA, I don't talk to like my sisters as much as I should. And the big thing with my sisters is they kind of help me through like my, my troubles with, with girls. And uh, so this was at a time where I wasn't really like, I wasn't letting anything out to anybody because it just, I don't know, I just wasn't. And so I finally, you know, vented to the whole group of people that they're writing the song with me. And I was talking about a relationship of mine. And that's basically the song that what the song is about for me. I mean, it's, it's definitely about like the love of your life, you know, like my love and we all have our own, but like, for me, it's like, I will love you and I hope that you love me forever, no matter what. Like, we could go through all this crazy shit, but it's it's love. At the end of the day, like, I'm yours and you're mine. And so literally in the lyrics, like, that's what I say. Even if we're on a break, you're still mine and you know I'm still yours. Um, but then it goes more into, like, the idea of self-love. And I start talking about, you know don't make me find someone who knows how to do the little things you do with my love. And it's like, not so threatening, but it's almost like me realizing like, if I'm not getting the love that I feel like I deserve, or you're not reciprocating the love that I'm giving to you back to me, then, then I, I have to do myself, you know, a favor and I gotta, I gotta Get be out. my own person. And so those are the two feelings. And it's almost like contradicting feelings because I'm saying that I love you no matter what, and I'll be there for you no matter what. But that's something that you say, you know, to the love of your life. And you really mean it when you say it. But then reflecting on it, you're kind of like, well, hey, I'm still me. Like, I, I have to watch out for me. This is my life and no one else is going to watch out for me. So I got to make sure that I'm, you know, being loved the way that I want to be loved. And so that's that's what it is. It's like kind of it pulls you in two different directions, but that's that's what it is for me. What does the record mean for you in your life then? Is it a closing of one door? Like is it like officially moving on from something? Like like what what purpose does it serve for you larger than just a song to put out into the world? Dude, I don't even know how to answer that. Like because I don't even know. Like in in my in my love like it's all over the place, dude. It's like, it's constant, you know, that's why I don't, I don't love to talk about it because it's like one day it's this, the next day it's that. Like, and I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm going to talk myself into a bad place here, but um, it's like, it's just love. Like that, like, I see, this is where I need Jack to Like, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. So there's this. God, he'd be in this. In this um, <laughs> for me, this this it's it's not necessarily an accurate representation of like directly where I'm at in my personal relationship with the person that I love. But um, in general, like if you if you look at the whole year, you know, past year of my life, it's for sure accurate. You know, it's 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 that's the vibe of of my relationship and like not, try, not trying to get too detailed, but you know, we're hot and we're cold. And it's like, it's cool because when we're together, it's like, we fucking love each other and we can tell each other everything and we have great times together. But then, you know, there's other times where it's like, we're both doing our own thing. And I know that, that, that eats away at the other's heart a little bit. And so it's like, you hate, you love, you hate, you love, but it's like, we just will always be there for each other. You know, it's, it's one of those things. Wow, you well, did there, a great job. Did, was that okay? Like, <laughs> you were <you're> great. <laughs> I would say there's the lyric, you got a new man, but I know it's me you're missing. How does that make you feel when you see, your, you know, an ex with somebody else? Oh, bro, it fucking breaks my heart into a million pieces. Like, it sucks. But at the same time, 
there is there is like a little bit of maturity that comes i mean obviously with just growing up you know and you realize like okay like at the bottom of everything at the end of the day no matter what like isn't the point to be happy right and so if i'm happy and this person's happy and we're not together then is that such a bad thing you know it's like we're if we're happy that's 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 the goal like that's that's what i want at the end of the day and that takes a lot of like maturity to be like you know i just want you to be happy like younger me would be like no 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 i want you to be with me like duh like but no, like you can't control someone else and you have to live life and let life happen. And uh, it definitely, you know, I, I would never lie and say like, nah, nah, that shit don't phase me. I got, you know, I got a million girls. Like, no, like, no, like I'm not like a rapper, but uh, you know, it hurts. And it's like, that's just like a vulnerable part of life that you have to accept. And it's like, who knows who, who is going to end up with, but um I, as long as like i feel like that person is being treated well by whoever they're with then i'm then that makes me happy because i i want to be happy and i want i want them to be happy now in the opening the opening line or somewhere in the beginning do you say as long as we don't cross that one line yeah <laughs> what is what does that mean dude i have no idea I actually have no idea what that line means. I don't know what that one line is. Every time like I was performing it in the backyard, I was like, what is this line? Like we've gone there. We are past that line. So it's basically for me, how I would describe it. It's, it's almost like me being in denial a little bit. It's like, as if we haven't already crossed the line, which like, you know, it's like, we're way past that at this point. There's nothing that, they could do or that I could do that would really change the feelings that I have for them because we've cut so deep at this point and you know it's like it's something that we just accept it's like like it's just you know it's just that's what love is and sometimes it sucks because you feel like man I'm doing myself like a disjustice by even letting myself feel something for this person after all this but it's like no like no it's that's love. It's fucked up. Love is fucked up in general. And I know some people do have perfect relationships and I admire those people. I don't know how that works, but for me, it's not that way. Love has never been easy. Love is love has never just come as second nature. It's something that if you really want it in your life, you have to work so hard to maintain it and to like, you just have to I don't know. It's it's a lot of work. It's not just like it's easy. You know, there's so many things. You're you're responsible for someone else's feelings essentially, and that's that's a huge responsibility. So, uh, I don't know what that one line is. I don't know what that. I don't know if there's anything that she could do that would actually make me fall out of love with her. It, you know, it's just like it'll happen naturally if it happens. But it's just that's love for me. I don't know. Well, you, you keep talking about this person and she is and with this song specifically. Is it hard for you to talk about that knowing people are going to speculate who you're talking about? Um, honestly, I don't think, no, I don't think it's hard because it's something that we've talked about a lot. And we know that I don't want this to be like, I don't want it to be like the epicenter of my career. You know, like, I don't want that to be the only thing that I ever talk about. Um, and I know that's that that person wouldn't want that either. Like we don't want a career off of a relationship. We want to have our own separate careers in music. And so to me, it's just like a part of my life and I want to be as open and honest as I can be without, you know, fully being just like too detailed and putting our entire lives and relationships out there. But, um, yeah, it's not hard for me to talk about because I like we're in we're in communication and we can talk about like hey, I just said this in an interview like you know make sure if if you get asked about this like you know let's just be on the same page and so that we're we're completely cool with that right now and um, yeah it's not hard it's like I feel like it's so awkward when you like obviously are avoiding it which was like the way I was handling it for years because. We just had a messy thing. And uh, even still, like, I'm not trying to, like, drop a name, but, you know, th like, it's obvious. And so I'm not going to try to hide or run from that. That's a part of my life. And I made that extremely public, you know, on my own. And so I can't expect people to just, like, never ask me or completely avoid every question that's ever driven towards that thing. You know, I got I to gotta just be honest, you know, like I said, without revealing, like, every little detail.